so now that I've got your attention, I would like to speak on a few things. And I would like my target audience to be men. Women, you should tune into this because I think this information could be useful for you as well. All right, gentlemen, this 28 year old says that she got some information for y'all. And I guess for me, because she wants women to tune in too. Now I sit here, I listen to you child, but I'm going to tell you already, this is a girl that was in that video for now you a single mom. And she had all this crap to say, and she'd be running off at the mouth and she barely be taking any daggone breaks. And she's annoying AF, but we're going to go ahead and have an open mind and see what she got to say and see if she has anything to offer to the conversation. Okay. Make sure you hit the daggone like button, subscribe, comment. Let's get into it. First of all, I'm going to straight up say social media and the media period is why men and women are not getting along. But what I will say is I feel like it is affecting men way harder than women. And what? What? Let me tell you why. First of all, I feel like social media gives everybody this illusion of options. But what I will say is most men are very immature. Studies show that men do not mature until they're 40 and most don't even mature at that age. Also, you all struggle with monogamy as it is. So with all these women that you feel like are at your fingertips, a lot of you will take the ladder and go ahead and take that risk, especially if you think you're not going to get caught. You all are very visual creatures. And while there are so many voluptuous women with long, beautiful hair, whether it's their real hair or extensions, face made up to the gods, how many of these women do you think are actually of stature? a lot of you all are opportunists you will inbox and dm about 150 women a day between multiple apps hoping that at least three of them stick and then start up a conversation now here's where you go with the emotional cheating also i feel like it makes men out of touch with what is reality okay because a lot of these women not only do they have plastic surgery like botox and lip fillers they have bbls breast implants they have filters they're using facetune they're editing all of their photos and then you're looking at these women and then you go and look at the average women and then you're like you know i'm missing out on something so let's just go ahead and say that that might be true. And I don't know. I'm going to just go ahead and go with the flow. Why is it that these women are mutilating their bodies, ma'am? Why are you not answering that question? Why do they feel as though they need to get lip injections, butt injections, breast implants, all of that mess? Go to people who don't know what they're doing. Go all the way to countries where it costs cheaper, even though y'all supposedly got it going on. You got all this money. You doing it best for everyone else. But y'all doing all that for who now? You don't want to address that part. All these whores, sex workers over here on OF and Instagram and wherever the heck else these people be, you don't want to talk about that. So the advertising is not a problem. The actual doing what you just said by the person that's actually doing it is not the problem. The problem is the man who's viewing because he wants what y'all went and bought, even though you went and bought it and he wants it. And now you're saying that he's the one with the problem and he's the one that's got the issue. Ma'am, that don't make sense. Why is it that you all feel the need to change yourself? What happened to uh, the way that God made you should be good enough? That's just tossed out the window since the damn 2000s, I think. You don't want to look at nothing like that? All right, child, let's just go ahead and continue with the blame, shame, and, and blame game because that's exactly what's going on here because that's really all they have at the end of the day is to say it's your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault with no internal reflection ever. That brings me to another issue that men are facing today, which is pornography. A lot of you men have really bad pornography addictions. You cannot even enjoy intimacy with your partner because you're too busy thinking about which one you can pick from an online category, right? And the more you watch it, the more you become desensitized. You need you need something more hardcore. Then y'all start falling into these categories. And then next thing you know, you're off the rocker into a black hole and probably are starting to feel disgusted with yourself afterwards y'all do not understand that porn is fake that's why they're called stars they're actors they're actors it's like wrestling and then you guys think that your day-to-day -day regular sex life is supposed to be like people who do it for a living it's not going to be like that 
Now, I don't disagree with this part about uh, prime being an issue. It definitely is an issue, but it's from a holistic perspective. One, men probably do want what they can't have. That's why OF is so damn um, popular. That's why OF is so popular. There's men that are basically going to OF. Come on now. It's really not a bunch of women that's signing up for that. For women that look half, that look half not even real, that are just given a fantasy. And even though there's free prawn, people are still signing up for it. Y'all can call it simps all you want to. It's still males. It's still men at the end of the daggone day. And I don't think that everybody over there is a daggone simp. So if you're going around and you're uh, using prawn to, to fantasize about and it gets to be addictive, let's not act like that's not a thing. At the same time, who is leading over there as far as what they're doing on OF? It's women. It's women who from the age of young ages before they're even adults that are planning on going on there. But she don't want to talk about that. How about Charlie Sheen's daughter? How about Catch Me Outside? Hell, at this point, how about Drea DiMatteo? It don't matter what the age is. So she wants to say that you all are addicted to prawn, but she doesn't want to acknowledge the fact that women are addicted to to money and attention, which they're using as prawn, because that's what OF is in order to get the money from the same men that she says has the actual issue. Now, is this twofold? Absolutely. I believe so. Personally, my dad going self. Why is it though that she can't see and say that the person that's leading this charge over here and then giving the money to a man, mind you, are women because they're so desperate for attention and money attention and money from the same people that they complain about. Because with all this complaining and all her observations, I promise you, I promise you, she's still been looking for a man, dating a man, knowing what they're doing, where they going, how they doing, or else how she know all this? How does she know all this? All this complaining, but she still wants to be a part of and think that she out here, I guess she want to be the um, sprinkle sprinkle. I think she want to be the next sprinkle sprinkle and get her followers up with this type stuff. Also, a lot of you all are emotionally unavailable as it is. You don't know how to communicate. You don't know how to manage your emotions. So you're not in a place of where you even want to work on a relationship with a woman. You also don't know where to start. That's where women get frustrated when they say they need a man to lead. You got women complaining, nagging, and you feel like she's just repeating the same stuff, but you're not literally thinking to yourself, like maybe she's repeating the same stuff because I'm not changing it. This woman is trying to fight for my relationship, but I'm on here listening to Kevin Samuels. And he said that because my woman got kids or because she's getting older or because of this, she shouldn't be telling me what I need to fix because I'm a high value man and you're not nowhere near that. A lot of y'all don't even own a suit. You're not in no important rooms. A lot of y'all are not even nowhere near having a career. You guys are sitting there listening to other men who are lonely and miserable, just like y'all feel like us women do. How long has Kevin Samuels been dead now and they still bringing him up? It's always a way or reason to blame someone else for said person's results. No one is ever an adult. No one is ever responsible for what they do, but she can get on this here daggone tickety talk and talk about everything about men, disparage men, talk negatively about men in every way, shape, and form. And then as soon as Brandon Jamal makes a daggone song, she the one that was mad, if y'all recall, but the rest of these biatches is mad, but they can do whatever they want. Y'all, I continue to tell you the point of what these people want is to keep Keep y'all under control, under their feet, do what they want, when they want, how they want, in every single way possible, every single daggone day. Give them everything. They make no changes. You do whatever they say and you give them your everything. And then when your life is over and you've gone, you make sure you put their name on the daggone life insurance so that they can continue on with that same life with whoever else it is that they choose. Leave these people where they lie. They not going to change. The song is the same. I don't even understand why anyone entertains. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, these biatches ain't, listen, they ain't fooling me. Let me tell you that right now. They might be fooling some of y'all, but let me tell you who they don't fool me because I'm a biatch too. I'll call it out every single daggone time. So if you made it this far, make sure you go ahead and hit that daggone like button, click subscribe, make sure you comment. I see you all in the next one. Stop it.
get some help.